I hear enemies coming into the office, so I'm going to try and flank him here. He's right here. I see his footsteps. Can't let him get away. I was going to watch your back, turn on my dead silence, stay as stealthy as possible. I'm going to come out here. I'm going to jump. Pre-aim this. Got him. What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. So today I have a brand new Ram 7 setup for you guys. So it's very similar to my other Ram 7 setup that I posted before. You could check that video out. Link in the description. I go in depth with all the attachments and show why I chose what I chose. The only thing that's really different is the monolithic suppressor. Using a suppressor in Modern Warfare is huge. If you're staying as stealthy as possible by using a suppressor, it really can help you survive a lot longer in the game. And as a stealth player, like myself i really enjoy playing tactical and i love trying to outsmart the enemy this monolithic suppressor attachment is very necessary and in fact it also does add about 10 percent to your damage range as well so the next attachment is going to be the ftac 13.5 inch compact barrel and this one's going to improve your aim down sight speed as well as your movement speed this one is going to help us get that cracked aim and move around the map a lot faster especially if you're trying to flank for our next attachment we got into the xrk close quarter stock it's going to improve your aim down side speed this is also going to help us lock onto our targets a lot faster when we're engaging in those gunfights then for our rear grip we've got on this stippled grip tape this one is a must-have on almost every single weapon out there in modern warfare in my opinion i feel like it's a staple attachment because it also gives you that aim down side speed as well as your sprint to fire speed which is important in those one-on-one -on -one confrontations you're going to be able to fire your weapon a lot faster after coming from a sprint and that's very important when you're coming across enemies that you did not suspect were there then and for the last attachment we've got on the 45 round mags this one is optional i'm just using to use it in case for those engagements that are at long range and i just can't really get a good shot on the opponent i have more bullets to work with this is also great for those players who don't have that great of an accuracy so having those extra rounds is definitely going to help you out in the long run but by the time you're watching this video this actually is going to be buffed up to 50 rounds which is going to make it even better it was supposed to be patched a while ago but they haven't done that yet but they're going to do it really soon in the next big update so be on the lookout for that but if you don't want to run 45 round mags i would highly recommend putting on a perk like slide of hand so you can reload your weapon a lot faster it's going to be very important for when you're running and gunning and you want to be able to stay locked and loaded ready for the next gunfight so another thing that you want to take away from this class setup since it is a stealthy class setup is you want to use the field upgrade dead silence this one's going to silence your footsteps and this is very important because in modern warfare it's so easy to hear your footsteps by using dead silence it's definitely going to help you survive a lot longer Longer. Now, as far as the rest of your class setup goes, it's optional. You can use whatever you want. So yeah, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Drop a like if you do find this video helpful. And if you're new around here, don't forget to subscribe. Join the Turbo Nation. Make it official today, baby. And I'll see you guys in the video, man. Peace. I'm going to try to explain as best as possible. <laughs> I'm going to try to explain as best as possible my thought process everything that i'm doing keep in mind modern warfare is one of those games where you need to invest 100 percent into the game because you got to listen to the game sound battle chatter etc etc so uh hopefully it's a smooth gameplay you guys understand so typically on hackney yard i usually like to hop over this uh dumpster right here and i'm gonna pre this i see that they're taking c so i'm gonna try to beat them to the spot i'm gonna pre-aim right here should be another one pretty sure they're aware their teammate just died so I'm going to cut this way, stick to the stick close to the walls. Got him. There's probably one in that building. So now our team is uh, spawning in over here. So let's go ahead and cap this first. All right. Now I'm going to go up. I'm going to look out this line of sight and watch out for those windows. There's one up there. Let's see if uh, he's going to pop out his head. There's one right there. We got a long shot too out of it. All right, cool. Man, those long shots are really, really tough. So I got a teammate right there. He just died. I'm going to go up here for... I saw somebody right there. Good little vantage point. Teammate behind me just died. I got another teammate watching my back. So I'm going to make my way into the office. See, that was really close. You always got to be aware. And look at everything in the bigger picture. Don't just like be zoned in on one spot. So it looks like teammates got top B. I'm actually going to come down here. Teammate just died. Teammate's going bottom. I'm going to throw this C4. Got a hit marker on him. Teammate finished the job. Nice. 
Now I'm going to establish position right here. Teammate just died. So he's coming in. He's coming in. He's going to be right here. Teammate just died. I'm going to wait. Just be patient. There he is. There he is. Got him. I hear enemies coming into the office, so I'm going to try and flank him here. He's right here. I see his footsteps. Can't let him get away. Always got to watch your back. Turn on my dead silence. Stay as stealthy as possible. I'm going to come out here. I'm going to jump. Pre-aim this. Got him. I think someone might be coming after me, so I'm going to... I'm going to leave here. Got another hit marker. There he is. I think they're at C right now. I'm going to pre-aim this stairs. Teammates got bottom. You always got to factor those as well. Your teammates' position. That's how you know which uh, ways to look at and which ways you're able to... Uh... He's hurt. Where is he? Got him. Okay, now I'm actually going to retreat. Best idea to retreat. Really low on ammo right now. I know they're, they're going to be coming from this way. I'm actually going to turn around here. Watch this line of sight. I really want to grab that scavenger pack. One's right here. Got him. I'm on a 13 right now. I'm not trying to get a nuke or anything. I'm just showing you guys how to stay alive. Just keep that in mind. Okay, they're probably going to be trying to come to the office where I'm at right now. So it's all about, like, power positions. And uh, try to maintain that power position. That's super important. Because people are just running around dying. Hold on, he's here. Kind of want to go down and investigate. Oh, see, he got me. See how quick he? you could just die right there? I'm not sure why they spawned around me, but... You know, we, all, we got on a pretty good streak. We're nearly on a 15 right there. So same thing. We're going to do the same thing. I'm going to come up here. I think I hear his footsteps. Look at his footprints. That's why I really... That's why I really enjoy this perk. And see how I just kind of avoided that situation? I knew I was getting shot, so I felt like it wasn't worth uh, trying to go for the kill, even if I had a clear shot. So I'm using height to my advantage as well. The higher you are, the easier it will be to see enemies. There's one guy right there, but I'm not going to try to focus on him for too long. Nothing's happening. He hasn't moved yet. I'm going to come over here. Take him out. Now let's move over here to B. Seems clear at B. Someone's at B. I heard the battle chatter. He said enemies in the area. Yup, he's right there at the window. Let's see if we can get this guy. Nope, nope, yeah. That that was just not a good angle. I mean, look at his positioning right here. He's head glitching. There's no way that I'd be able to get a clear shot without uh, dying or getting hit. Probably right below me. Saw his footprints. Always keep your eyes peeled for those things. Okay, one's headed to C right now. I'm going to pop out. It's all about movement as well. Try to use that movement to your advantage. I heard his footsteps. Turn on my dead silence. There's a guy like right behind me. I was ready for that guy. I just drop shot at him. All right, so they're at B right now. I'm looking left. It's clear. They're probably going to come through this way. I'm hurt right now, actually. I did see someone, but I want to heal up first. Wow, nice shot, teammate. So we're going to try to cap capture B right now. Actually, I'll watch their back. They're on it right now. It's better if I just kill off the enemies while my teammates cap. Just because I know I'm fully capable of that. Okay, there's a lot of action going on here. They're coming. They're coming. I'm waiting. Got them. Put on that dead silence. For sure, they're going to be coming back. For sure. So I'm going to try to stop them by going up over here. Good little power position. He's here. 
Got him. There's, there's another one. There's another one here somewhere. So there's a lot of decision making that factors into everything you do. You know, you can't just run around like an idiot. That's just the truth about modern warfare, you know. Obviously, they're trying to take down that chopper. I'm actually going to go up this way. Put on my dead silence. Flank someone over here. There's his footprints. His footprints are all over the place. That was close. That was a nice little double, 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 bubble. Not sure what happened right there. Got him. Okay, they're at B. I'm going to go to B right now. I'm going to try to get him off the flag. Got him off the flag. He's done. Oh, I'm on my 14 again. Okay, I'm, I'm sprinting. I'm going to pre-aim this. Got him. Woo, that was close. I'm on a ruthless. Doing a pretty good job staying alive here. This is where they're spawning in from. Whoa, 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 whoa. Where's he at? Not sure where he's at. Come up here. Get a good vantage point. Higher we are, the better. Nice kill. Died on a 16. All right, and uh, that pretty much wraps it up right there. You guys can't see the score yet because my face cam's in the way. But I got 32 kills. And as you can see, Modern Warfare, you really got to invest yourself into the game. You have to really literally think about every step that you make. You got to consider where your teammates are. So there's the final score. I went 32 kills, three deaths. It's, it's a very, very uh, taxing game, I would say, on your... Uh, on your what am I gonna say nervous system or something uh but yeah guys I hope you guys didn't uh did enjoy and you guys did learn something let me know if you want to see more videos like this if you guys are trying to improve and get better at modern warfare and you're just trying to uh you know take in all of the advice you can get and I will just keep continuing to post these videos yeah and I will see you guys in the next video peace